Greetings YouTube, this is BJ Black and welcome back to part 15 of my let's play of Amayui Castle Meister. Yesterday we just met our little assassin friend and it turns out she's a little more friendly than she used to be. And I told you there was another half of that cutscene to be watched so let's go watch it. So this is a room we've seen a cutscene in before. And Eol is coming into to coming in to not make a report. So the guy. Notice that something is out of place already, seeing as Eol hasn't said anything. Surprisingly nervous. Oh yeah. どうしたのかな。その手の中には普段の首が入っていないようだが。Yep. First off, she said she would come with the half elf's head and she doesn't have it. And she realizes this guy can pretty much see through her. So, yeah, she's nervous. But she knows what she's here to do. She's telling him that she can't do the work anymore, and she's not going to kill the prey. So, he asks what's changed. And she doesn't answer. And he immediately speculates that what happened is she was witnessed by somebody while she was trying to kill the prey. Eo flinches a bit at getting figured out this fast. Well, because of how she, good she is at her job. Even if she failed once, and even if she were weaker than her prey, she would keep going until she completed the task. <laughs> Yeah, he's pretty good at this. So he all asks just how much he knows. And he just refuses to answer. This is just an evasive answer, meaning nothing. He's playing hard to get with his answers in order to throw her off balance a bit. So, she's done here and she's not going to do any more killing for them. So, Now he's wondering. It's not just that she failed at the killing, but why did she come here to properly refuse to do anything? Well, that's the right thing to do, and she's serious about doing the right thing. <laughs><笑> Now he says, if she won't do it, he can hire someone else to do it. And in that circumstance, would she step aside and let him do his job? She doesn't answer right away, but he says he already knows. 
だから言っているだろう問題は君がこれを明確な裏切りだと認識しているのかどうかだと Yeah, he's trying to force it out of her whether she's betraying him straight up or not Well, of course he's a smart guy he's probably already figured it out さてどう落とし前をつけるつもりかぜひ聞かせていただきたいものだ So let's hear it. 何を言われようともう半分エルフの周囲は傷つけない。She doesn't care what he says.He won't let him hurt anyone in the half-blood elves there.、Mm. Area of influence, let's say.Him or anyone around him. その理由は聞かせてもらえるのかな So he asks. Why? She won't say? She doesn't need to say. 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 She doesn't n e e エモノの周囲すらも守ろうと決意したのかをな。Now he's speculating from the fact that she's going to protect the half-blood elf and such? ミケユに殺しの現場を見られたか。And he guesses that ミケユ saw her trying to kill the prey.This <laughs> guy's scary. He always tried to hide this, but. Yeah. <laughs> so, Yo's been taking on this work in order to protect, so to speak, Mikeyu. But she didn't want Mikeyu to know about it. Well, I guess we figured that out already. But the fact that this guy knew that. Anyway, as always, Yo is sweet and kind to a fault. Nah,、uh, he. He also said her trade name, Shurioya, or Hunter. So that's her name within the organization. She says that's not her name anymore. Alright, he can accept this. He's lost one pawn by this occurrence, but he wants to confirm one thing. I can expect you're prepared, aren't you? Well, you know what it means when you leave an organization like this. What's he all got to say? Professionals bring harm to none other than their prey. Well, what this means is don't target anybody but me. Isn't she sweet? <laughs> This is a flat out lie that he has that intention. So suppose that he's trying to kill you and your precious friend is nearby. Do you think that she would just stay quiet and watch? Now, what would, wouldn't it be normal for her to lash out? So, she said, 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 
Now, in that circumstance, he would have to fight back it with simple self-defense. You just try it, bastard. Actually, I tossed the bastard on there on the end. Heel didn't say that. <laughs> we'll just see who takes whose head. <laughs> yeah, he's looking forward to it. もう君に依頼は出さず君もこちらの事情に介入しないそう君は自由だもしかすると今ここで私の首を狙った方が手間は少ないかもしれんぞ So, he's not going to make any more jobs for her and she doesn't get into the organization anymore So, she's free And he wonders if she might try and take his neck right here. Professionals don't work without a contract. And that's that. It's Kawakat now he's monologuing about one thing he hopes she will understand someday that freedom isn't that pleasant a circumstance there are plenty of existences that will destroy your sweetness and tear apart your friendships <laughs> what an ass <laughs> I hope we get to kill that guy all right so what I need to do now is gather materials for this this was the plot item regarding the ghosts in the castle I need blue magic or which I would have been able to get last time only it just didn't drop for me so I get to try again let's see I don't need to capture any of these enemies. Alright, forget the bats. Did I get what I wanted? Boy, did I get a lot of it. Alright, we're good to go. Hey look, Cassine. But we're not going to watch it yet. Because it changes things and we won't be able to use this properly. Yes. Yes. All right, so this spirit finding crystal will let us find the spirits. That's awesome. How does it work? Well, I'm glad you asked. 
who works like blah 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 and especially blah 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 and this part blah 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 Alright, Fia doesn't understand, but we just need to use it. And Mikio doesn't really understand that well either. It's just me here. I am all alone. Alright, so that's how it works. And we can go to this new map. So let's... So we've observed this one spirit and apparently this one is different from the others. Well, Mikaya saw it properly, but Avaro didn't, so she's going to describe that it looked like a noble woman. She is excited and she wants to see it too. But we should be careful in approaching her. Mikair thinks that this one is controlling or commanding the others. Hmm, the spirit's boss, huh? Alright then. Well, Mikio's a bit hesitant about doing this because she's not sure if her magic will work well on them. No, it'll be alright. We don't need to get too close. Hey, well, no, we're not going to give up. But we do need to confirm this, so we need to do it carefully. Alright. One thing to observe in the list here is this. You need to go to the herb gathering points five times, but as you can see there are only three. So in order to get this one, you need to come to this level at least twice. Beast bones, huh? And that's it for our intro. You can see this one's the boss and the other ones just kind of float around. Oddly enough, Mikeu is actually the best suited to take these guys on. Because Mikeu is the only one that has a melee magical attack. And these guys will run up to you and do melee attacks on you. Now, Fia has a magic attack with range that is wholly elemental, which these guys are very weak against. But I don't like using that one because, well, it's hard to catch up with these guys if they don't want to approach you. And their attacks do a lot of damage to Fia since they're darkness attacks and she's weak against that. Now here you can see, these guys have insane physical defense, in addition to the fact that they're highly resistant to all physical damage. And even Kaorin using his earth type of damage can't get through his, their defense. So engaging with melee is useless with him. But there's a reason I stuck him up in front there. First, he's still my tank. 
Oh yes, be sure to put on the melee magic attack and not the ranged magic attack on Mikeo if you're doing this. Because it makes things go like this. Well, let's do this. The boss is a pain because she has this attack that paralyzes. The first time I did this, I didn't have her equipped properly. And when the boss attacked her... And when the boss attacked her, she paralyzed her. And then for the next four turns, I was stuck waiting for the paralysis to wear off while the boss kept paralyzing her again. And then the boss kind of got tired for some reason and skipped right by. And a turn later, the paralysis wore off. I walked up to her and smacked her down in one hit. All right, let's see how this works. Could be better. Yeah, this is the attack that will paralyze. So if I'm lucky, she'll lose about half her life here. Bingo. And she didn't get paralyzed. That's good news. All right, I'll take control there so that Mikeo can march up. Oh, better heal her. Take this, boss. Yeah, magic attack. Awesome. This is a Venus stone. I think it boosts meh physical defense. Well, we're having a tough time of it, according to Fia. But we can finish her off. Except she just leaves. Ah oh, man, we were so close. Anyway. This is odd behavior. See, the rest of the spirits have... Just up and left. So, as they speculated, the other spirits were obeying the noble woman's spirit. But why did they just up and leave? Well, if I was going to speculate that it's because they've got what they wanted. In any case, the way they were behaving was strange from the beginning. They would just pop up here and there, interacting with us, and then pull away. And finally, this complete withdrawal. Rather like they were trying to draw out our movements and observe our observe our tactics and whatnot. It's not that like they were doing what they were doing out of anger or hatred or anything, but moving with practice with a particular goal in mind. Although we don't know what. Alright. Sophia says that Mikio is pretty amazing here. And I'll admit that attack of hers really. She's trying to play it down that she wasn't really the... She wasn't really the keystone of this operation. 
まさにミケウちゃん様様って感じの活躍だったしねそんなでもそう言ってもらえるととっても嬉しいです私もっと魔法を使えるようになってみせます Well, she is not really good at taking compliments, but she is pretty good at getting her to accept them, so she's happy to hear. So we're all behind her in her practicing magic. And I'll admit she was pretty much the keystone here. And now our objectives have changed. Although it was a free map to the beginning and we could have run away at any time, now we also win if we just run out of turns. Hmm. Since this took fewer turns than before, I'm gonna have to. Take Fia up there. See, a whirlpool formed up there, and now monsters are going to come out of it. And I want Fia to take these guys on. Before it was annoying because the monsters wouldn't always move towards you and trying to chase them down in these rooms was a pain. But if we have a cornered on that whirlpool, we're good. Hey, warrior boots. Those have interesting effects. Now, why do I want Fia to do this? Because when she can manage them, she's got a. Ah, uh, you can see here how much damage they do because of the darkness attack. Oh crap. That is like bad timing to an extreme. But she can handle it. See, her magic capture attack will make short work of them. And we want to capture these guys. <laughs> We're not done yet, Fia. I need to heal your ass because... If I don't, you'll get killed. Let's see. Oh, I should have taken that deploy point. Let's see. I still have two gath herb gather points to locate. I know one is in this room here. Ah, oh, where was that other one? Yeah, see, there it is. Oh, I think it was right here.
Hmm. After the next one comes out, I think I'll take some time and go heal Fia. Just because. Oh, I didn't take a control of that yet. Oreno I forget how many of these guys I really need. I think when I, once I get up to 10 total enemies captured, I'll give up. Alright, we're done here. Hmm, well that's pretty usual stuff. But what I was there for was the plot. This mercy ring you may want to take a look at. Once you have the spirit stones you get from those spirits I was killing up there, you can make a few of these. Now, if you have these, you can equip it on someone and they won't be able to kill enemies while they have it equipped. It'll bring their enemies down to one, H point, eight, one hit point and then they'll just do zero damage. This is useful if you want to level up a low-level character against high-level enemies. Because you have a, a higher-level ca character bring the enemies down to low life and then have the weak character kill them for massive HP, XP. You know what, I haven't found any other use for it and I like getting those things. Actually, I'm not going to make too many of the SP recovery drinks because I use them with Avaro from time to time and using seeds instead of drinks is actually a bit more efficient at the moment. Now if there's one thing I like making, it's wooden shields because they get me earth shards for improvements. This particular ring will give me lightning shards, which are pretty hard to get your hands on at this point in the game. Yes. Yes. Next. Hmm. I've already filled up that. Oh yes, we captured those spirits. Three darkness types. Alright. Or five spirit types. 
same ones. So, magic attack plus four or darkness resistance plus one. No brainer. Oh man, she he is really going to be hitting things heavy with his spells now. Although he's not primarily a spellcaster. Anyway, if I have the opportunity, I'll go back there and get some more of those guys. Alright. We've got a cutscene waiting for us, but I think that'll be it for today. Thank you for watching, and... Tune in next time.